all right guys we are back playing the witcher this is part four hello to my fellow witchers i know i have been delaying the, the inevitable Prince, i've been large. procrastinating <laughs> and so i just was playing this part for like 40 minutes and my god uh stinks of piss so Don't when my god. friend was over so i like since um i don't have any of the earbuds that were like one could be in one ear so uh we had just uh do uh my desktop audio uh which was fine but then i didn't switch it back to my headphones which i that's what i usually do and for 40 minutes i was talking so you can hear my voice so you can hear me so that was, part was fine but you couldn't but you couldn't hear the game because it was linked to the desktop and that was it i was just like and i was doing great you know i wasn't like stuttering i wasn't like Oh my gosh, guys, I don't know, like, what to do, you know, like, I'm... Lost his boots in the rush. Staying pretty confident, you know, I'm... And, you know, I'm staying primarily on topic, Something or whatever I'm talking about. jumped out of the about. rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Alright, are they gonna attack me? Oh, maybe. Tracks lead back to the village. Alright. That's interesting. Sometimes they attack, sometimes they don't. That's very confusing at times. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Yeah, as okay, so back on topic. So, and I was so focused, I was like doing a good job. And when I went to edit the video, I'm just like, why can't they hear the game? And I realized I didn't sit back um, to my headphones and I'm just like, shit. And so now I'm back here. I have to entertain you guys again. But you know it's all right. I love this game, so I marks. can it's recycle that commentary that I used. That wasn't somewhat. Some parts weren't wasn't good. Nasty wound. Run into a here. To make what it the fuck do you care? I don't know, sometimes like our arsonist, charm when I turn too. on. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. When I turn on uh, uh, the mic and everything and start to record. Sons of bitches all and dwarves are like, the worst. Somewhere in my head, it's like, hmm, do anything for gold, they will. we should be talking, but <laughs> let's stare the into the abyss and forget what to Am say. I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Hmm, no chance here coming with me. Fine, but no more arson. Let's see. Let's give the arsonist our chance or let's be a moralist and... Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Try me. You know, just puts up his fisticuffs. It's like, try me, bitch. I'm like UFC champion. Like, uh, ten times in a row. Calm down. Now like, didn't you see me. that shit? Like, I broke, uh, Conor McGregor's ankle. It's like, didn't you see that, you little peasant? But, you know... It's all right, uh, but you know, like I said, so when I ever just start to record for somewhere in my head, I just stop 
like what I was gonna say or or how I was gonna like oh this, this is gonna be fun no like my brain just turns Nothing off happened. and I just get awkward I don't know sometimes I like what? I had to like hype What's myself up here you go one village yeah, pyromaniac in the up. flesh or it no. takes multiple attempts because you? I don't know I get a little I awkward your mom for years. They the camera. Copa. this is how you repay me I've had enough Oh hey, soldier soldier a minute of your I love time, that boy oh no get over Willis, here I beg you I, 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 I was drunk didn't know what I was doing I've told you master Willis we will help you rebuild once we'll get these two come. right over here on supplies the left. have been ordered Not they look like they could be meat. brothers that's here's the arsonist a witcher found them the forge was important to the garrison Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. One just has. That's pretty harsh. As punishment goes. Harsh as punishment goes. But deserved. You know, I hated the black ones at first, like everybody else did. That's so Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. Well, sorry, let you about that. or something. Your reward. But yeah, I, it's kind of. I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds. So sure, the I can bang ones. something out on it. You need anything? Let me know. Give you a good. I price. mean, they are just invading uh, your home. So. I don't know, it's kind of understandable that they're a little upset. I mean, wouldn't most people be upset that uh, whoever, you know, at, like uh, the Nilf Guardian army or whoever it is, is just invading your home? You know, your country. I, I feel like that'd be a little upsetting at the most. It, I don't know. It's just like, come on, Willis, be a bit more understanding. I mean, it's not like they're exactly saying, pretty please, can we come over here and just uh, burn down. Ah, uh, your home. It's not like they're being nice about it. All right. Magic push. Using the force. Force push. We're playing, uh... What's that Star Wars game that I have? Uh... All right, but yeah, to do that, um, what else should we do? But yeah, Come on. yeah, it's like the whole Slower. like discussion. Like, yeah, I feel like if the Nilf Guardian army was burning down, sort of invading where I live, I feel like uh, I'd be a little upset at the most you know i feel like that'd be a little upsetting like uh they're invading your home and killing you know your tamarian brothers and sisters so so many corpses and the war's just started and yeah that's the other thing like there's so many dead yeah, on good. both sides bastion his body must be here somewhere among countless others. Want to examine them one by one? Could take a while. You needn't fret. The recruits from White Orchard painted a small flower on their shields so as to be able to spot each other in battle. There was just a um, few of them. We look for the flowers, we'll find Bastion quick. No offense, but many a soldiers dropped his shield. Yeah, like... Especially if he was on the losing side. Especially. If we find the shield alone, Hassan will catch the scent and lead us to Bastion. Come on. Sooner we get this done, the better. 
All right. I don't, know, uh, I don't really care for this mission that much, uh, just because kind of how it is. But you have to find his dead brother. But it's okay. I like it. I feel like. Well, that ghoul just teleported. And the other thing about this, uh, about games. Okay. Well, Geralt could just. Okay, let's target. One. I'm doing terrible. I was doing better in that outer footage. I might still use that. Uh, maybe. Alright. But yeah, like, that's sort of the thing with this, uh, like, yeah, like, how many soldiers really held on, like, uh, okay, one's like right here. That him? No. Neighbor's son. I feel like one thing with game in, in general, because I'm gonna want to talk about Gotham Knights. I also want to touch on this. You know, the one thing about big games like uh, this is side missions so side missions can get super repetitive you know like in assassin's creed odyssey there's like certain missions where it's like oh kill like five lions collect their hides like like hunt it's like And then it's like really, you know, it's like, or it's like you gotta that him. kill like a hundred enemies so. or whatever of a specific type. And I like on, can, you smell Bastion, boy? can get pretty repetitive. Uh, skins burn. I remember like in Ghost of Tsushima. Might be hard to tell, I know, but like there's like certain side him? missions in there. Like if you weren't like a Bastion important a character, if they were just like random this one seems side smaller, missions, they get, they put like maybe it's the fire like, that did that. My lord, my Lord Sakai, the Mongols have like requested us to make tea for them and shit. He found him. And I'm the like, bitch, I don't care about your tea shop. You know, Like that was like the one thing it's like certain games their side missions are, are like so boring where it's like please just kill more. me now my lieutenant demanded we definitely like that's like uh, i don't want to like pick on too much of ghost issues you know? like it's just like and all he could do him what yeah the industry with a has done stomach will not step onto the battlefield for so now, long shit, that is an order can you believe it the cretin Stop. And I feel like you're, oh, you're killing me. side my, missions my uh, should be interesting because they're target. side missions. They're supposed but to first, be interesting in some sort of aspect. They're not here. supposed to be like, oh, you need Bastion. to reach this level for this mission. He, Grind out all these no missions you? that no. no one really cares about. He saved my life. You know, I, I got a cut to my side and then got hit in the head. Couldn't see anything. Rose in here found me as as he crawled across the battlefield his legs twisted and so we were no kidding blind man leading a cripple found this place and that's sort of the I'm thing taking you home about side missions we need to see to these wounds is they're supposed to be fine, die. and they're not supposed to be like a grind can't go back to his own he's deserted 
Now, I'm not saying like all of them have to be interesting. Like there's certain side the missions in The Witcher 3 the where I find pretty boring. No, the black and but I feel like the majority of side missions in The Witcher 3 are pretty interesting, or they give some sort of lore in the Ask world. Only made it with the black or ones help. It is. Maybe you ought to show him Nordlings aren't as barbarous as Nilfgaardians make us out to be. Or there's like an interesting some well, conversation. I could give him our pa's clothes. In uh, and between the, the NPC and Geralt. But where Geralt that will accent. say something, you know, Fine. a witty line I'll or take something, him in. where it's like, oh, that was fun to watch. Thank you, Witcher. Your reward. And the gods protect you. You know, there's so much to the Witcher's world where it's like, yeah, like all these side missions aren't like the greatest or the most entertaining, but you know, they at least have some substance to them. Then there's like missions where it's like collect a hundred feathers. There we go. After hitting everything. After wailing at the wind. Nice. Get that. The other thing, um, you have to really pay attention to is don't like spam. Like what? Sort of I am doing at times. Like, don't panic and hit certain buttons. Because uh, what you're just gonna end up doing is... Uh... Yeah, I've like panic rolls so many times in Dark Souls or Bloodborne. Ghoul nest. How to just destroy it. Do I have, no, I have to craft some bombs. I was gonna say, I feel like I have bombs. Uh, oh no, that's armor. And weaponry. All right, do that. I don't know, like side missions are, to me, like I want to have some fun. Oh geez. Uh, you're all right, girl. That's kind of like what always side missions should be. This should be interesting, you know. Not all of them have to be world class of storytelling or anything. They just have to be fun. You know, that's what like any side mission should be. It should be fun. Or you should get something out of like really out of it. Especially if it's really tedious. Because there's some missions in games where you did what this NPC wanted. And now... Oh. That's what's... Okay, the dog. Climbing wolf. These things annoy the shit out of me. Oh yeah, like. But one thing about like when I'm talking about like uh, uh, spamming a button. Now there's like certain times where like you have multiple wolves or whatever after uh, on Geralt. Uh, yeah, you're gonna be hitting. Um, the dodge roll button several times you guys, you know, several of them are coming after you and Not your lucky day And they're just gonna be coming at you Coming at you one by like Oh, 
I sort of lost my train of thought. Alright. Uh, oh, it's uh, spamming certain buttons. So, spamming controls. So, like, I've... Jeez. I'm not gonna get killed by a bunch of Kill this guy. Nice. There we go. Off goes his head. Off goes his head. All right. Let us loot. All right. Grab some of that. There we go. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, like, I need time with spamming. Like, if you, like, hit multiple buttons, like, the game has to uh, go through all those commands that you input. And then, but I was like, with, like, Dark Souls or anything, is like, you never want to spam uh, different buttons because. If you spam so many different buttons, uh, you're gonna uh, get messed up and get killed because you know that's just sort of what happens when you do that. But the one thing I wanted to talk about is Gotham Knights. Is I understand it's supposed to be a next gen game and it's not 60 fps but sort of this game has been in like development for like five years so it's sort of like the other thing about the game about gotham knights is sort of it's not arkham knight you know by any means comparison so Yes, Batman does die in the game. Yeah, in the very, like, which is where Arkham Knight hey is off of at. And so you can make the debate of, well, they, you know, killed Batman in the end. Uh, Batman's dead in the very end. Yes. But it's it's a different universe. Get up. And I understand that the 30 FPS thing upset people. It naturally. I mean, should the game be at six? I uh, have a performance mode. Yes, and it's, the game's just not optimized that well. And so I was playing it on PC. And but to me, okay, not 30 FPS, not the biggest deal to me, you know. Is it a shame? Yeah, but it's like I've played so many games in 30 FPS where it doesn't bother me, but it's like, um, uh, the, the comments about silky smooth gameplay, uh, like. The gameplay gets repetitive. I mean, that's like every game. Now. Should, like, some of the enemies be a bit more, uh. But that's like in, like, but I feel like uh, the one thing that always. That they have the upper hand in this argument is, well, you know. 
I feel like it's just like it's really hard going from the free flow combat, which Move is it. really fun. But I found Gotham Knights to be a fun game. It's not a great game. It's not a bad game. It's a fun game. Uh, the combat can get repetitive at times, so you have to switch it up. You know, you have to make that own that own decision. That to switch up the gameplay for yourself, so it's not a it's not the same so you're not so you're not getting that same feely feely like repetitiveness but it's still fun i'm i'm having a blast in it and i think the co-op mode Ugly bastard. is really fun the co-op mode is really fun I so enjoyed my game. It was just some random guy. And I was having a blast. Uh, and that's sort of the thing. It's sort of like games like Gotham Knight and such. It's sort of make your own like really opinion on it. Like it's such a divided game where i feel like review videos like oh don't play this game it's like more like i feel like most reviews should be like all right here are the pros here are the cons here's like the in between and here's what here's my two cents on it but take this information and do what you will with it get the game don't get the game make your own decision i feel like that's what most games like game reviews should be because like certain things can be very subjective it's like oh i really like this but if you're like going from well i play call of duty all the time and you're playing gotham knights yeah that's a very different game because you're a, you may still play play shooter games or you play 2d platform games and it's yeah, it's a very different game, so you might not like it because this is not your typical game that you enjoy. And so that is always the debate that's at hand. It's like, well, I like this, I like that. You know, it's like, well, of course, you know, that's just going to be the thing is not everything is going to be you know every game is not gonna be that you like or certain game rubs like i didn't like this feature in the game or blah blah like we could go on and on so like you know one of the biggest complaints that i could really say about the game is i don't really like the rpg ghoul nest ought to just destroy it in the game And so that's the thing. Is about the game. It's, it's a very, like, some of the features of the game, I'm not gonna lie, the RPG stuff, it's like crafting armors and better. I feel like that was just a mistake. To make that was just a mistake just to make in the game to do a game like that was like gonna be like the game thing is the enemies are gonna level scale with you And I feel like that was just a mistake that they made for the Google game. Nest. So, uh, WB Montreal also made Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War. And I, the one thing I really like about Shadow of War is there is loot in the game that you're loot collecting 
and stuff. But there's different tiers of gear that you can get and like certain armor sets have like um you know certain stats abilities or effects. And that's something I really liked about that game. Come on, Roach. That was like a really fun feature that I really liked about that game. And I feel like they should have just gone with that approach and just threw out um the RBG stuff because it certainly it's okay it's something i taught i, that I tolerate in the game uh it's not something i like i so i am a big rpg guy like i play dark souls i play bloodborne you know i play the witcher 3 rpg games and where it's like oh this does this status effects or whatever you know so i do like play certain you know like these games but it just did not belong in the game but the game's a lot of fun in my opinion and so that's just like the thing it's i feel like a lot of people didn't get it because of the the 30 fps which is like i said understandable but Plague Tale Regium is a next-gen game at 30 FPS, but I think it does have a performance mode, I believe. But, in the same extent, I feel like developers, some developers are kind of annoyed by fans. Where it's like, oh, the fans want this. Oh, they want 10 out of 10 graphics. With ray tracing, with all this, you know, stuff. Oh, they want 60 FPS. They want this. They want um, 10 out of 10 gameplay. They want 10 out of 10 story. They want 10 out of 10 voice acting. They want 10 out of 10 this. And I feel like developers can just get annoyed by that. Where... And I'm not shilling for the developers. I'm just stating that, you know, that would be a bit annoying, you know, to have to, you know, deal with that 24 seven. doing any damage because I had my silver sword out and not my steel sword but yeah back to uh, the one discussion so it's like I get it it's hard to please fans it just is you know It just is. You know, and I feel like it's hard not to want to lash out. I feel like that is probably one of the hardest things to develop. It's like, they, they want to make a product that fans are going to love. But at the same time, the fans are like bitching at them 24 seven. Like this is in like Red Dead Redemption 2 or this isn't like the quality level of this I feel like it also comes down to how big your studio is how many people you have 
and like the, the CEOs want uh, this game to be finished really fast, but like this takes time and a lot of effort. I just feel like in some ways it could just be annoying to be a game developer because you want to make that product that the fans are going to love. You want to do this, but there's just so much shit that's happening that's just annoying and you can't do anything about it because this is what, you know, this is what it is. And I feel like both sides can be very wrong, but we also don't know what it's like developing a game, like how much it takes, you know? Come on, Roach. And, you know, I'm not like turning a blind Come eye and be now. like, oh, you know, the, the, you know, the game devs have it so rough, you know, like all the time. Now I'm not saying Run, that I, I'm just saying, I think in the perspective for the game devs, it can just get annoying to hear the fans uh, complain all the time that why isn't it this or why isn't it that you know and you know that can just be frustrating you know that can be frustrating and i feel like and like just like defense of coffin knights it's a fun game it's not like a phenomenal game by any standards you know but you know not every game is Whoa, really there, Roach. i think i think like since like gotham Knights has been in development for five years it's not going to be like and we all have to realize that mm, magic not every game is going power. to be like Red Dead Redemption 2 or God of War 2018 or Ghost of Tsushima where it's just not going to be like gonna be oh my gosh you know this like graphically looking this good and everything like most games don't look like that so I feel like uh, sometimes as gamers, we've gotten a little, we've gotten a little, uh, <sighs> stench. a little too, oh, what's the word? We've had it good for a little bit, you know? Yeah, we've had it pretty good for a while. And I think it's not the end of the world if this game isn't up to par with like some of the greatest hits that we've ever had because not every game is going to be basically one of the greatest games of the jet like like if every game became like one of the greatest Faster. games of the generate of this generation that like if every game was like that then how would we know what's really go go what's really phenomenal game of the year to you know average and for anyone who's like saying oh you're just they're paying you to chill for to uh, the shell for them Look, guys, I only have a 30 subscriber channel. I wish WB was paying me to praise the game. I wish they were. They're not. And so Faster. it's... And I always... Yeah, I know I'm repeating myself. Just get the game when it's like 50% off. Play it. If you are having a fun time, you're having a fun time. 
You know, Magic. don't. A place of power. Show me what you got. It's a fun game. It's got. I, I'm liking the story so far. Just like the. Um, and the other thing about Gotham Knights, I was going to say, is this game is marketed towards people who love the Bat Family. This is not going to be the Batman experience Ghoul nest. Ought to that just everyone destroy. loves. Or if you're a casual Batman fan, if you're a casual Batman fan, you probably don't care about Robin, Nightwing, Batgirl, or Red Hood. These characters have no significance to you. You know, you're just... You know, like, that's just a thing for, like, some of these characters, like, these characters have really no significance for you. You know, they're not that great, you know, like, you don't care. Well, I mean, they're, I'm not saying the characters aren't great. I love the characters. Run, Roach. What I'm saying is you don't care that about these characters which is fine you know that is okay that is definitely okay you don't care about these characters you know no big deal so, like that just means this game just isn't for you and so like basically this game Gotham Knights wasn't going to make a ton of money like if they just made basically Arkham Origins 2. If they just made Arkham Origins 2, you know, the game would probably be selling far more. And the other thing I think most difficult thing about this game is around Ark. So if Arkham Knight is, the game is based around the Arkham series, the game, the combat gameplay is based around Batman's fighting style, how Batman fights. So, Having four different characters, that's tough to pull off that you're going to be playing or using. So that's just always just going to be the tough part about that game. It's, well, we don't have really Batman here, but we have these characters. So let's see what we can use of them. Blah, 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 you know. And that's just how that sort of is. And I'm gonna stop rambling on. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this part. Uh, I had a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun. I mean, just rambling on. And defending Gotham Knights, you know, it's But yeah, it's just sort of the game. I don't know what to really say about the game, to be honest. What more to say? I like pretty much just said everything. So this will be for now. Uh, this will be part four. This is part four. I'll get part five out soon enough and then part six. But yeah, uh, see you in the next part. Hopefully you enjoyed this.